Hey you guys, this is Kaylin from the future talking to you all. So this video, which is an hour long, is basically just a recap of my spring semester. I believe this video was taken in either January or end of February. I was clearly doing calculus work, hated calc, but that's a story for another day. I just wanted to give you guys a brief explanation of why some of the videos may be a little bit choppy because I put all of them together within a six month time frame. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So it started to rain. We don't have an umbrella. But we're super close to the front, so let's hope we don't get drenched so we can still take some pictures, but I don't know. Hey, it didn't rain too hard, and we're finally here. We're about like, maybe six, seven kids behind, and I can't wait to take pictures. Okay, hey you guys, so I'm back in my dorm. But right now, ooh, <laughs> right now I'm just um, trying to put everything inside of my refrigerator. I need to go back to like get some fruit and stuff. Ooh, I'm gonna start on my work again around like 7, 7.30. Just a summary of basically what I did at the Fenty event. So my friend had to wait in line, so I went to Target and by the time I came back, we were a little bit closer. When you actually got in though, I was hoping they were gonna give something away for free. I'm not sure if they did that, but we didn't get anything. We just took pictures. And that's really all I wanted to go for because I knew like they would have areas and stuff to take pictures. But I'm about to lay down for a little bit, get myself together before I start doing my work. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me go to Atlantic Station. I'll see you guys later. But I'm about to go to Battle of the Bands. And today is Saturday, February 4th. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. It's currently 2 o'clock, so I'm about to go try to get something to eat. And yeah, I'm starving though, y'all. Like, I'm starving though, real bad. All right, y'all, so now we're walking to the entrance. Lift driver, zero out of 10, never again. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully we know where we're going. I'm gonna just follow this crowd. So my friend is already in there. I'm excited to see Tennessee State. If y'all didn't know, I was about to be there. But I actually don't know who's gonna be there. I'm just excited to be here. <laughs> I wanna see Bethune Cookman. I am there. Okay, y'all. So I have two hours to complete my assignments, and I really don't feel like vlogging. So I'll check back in with y'all, but the event was great. And now it's Caitlin. What? What's going on? Where are you going? For dinner. I came for the thumbtacks. Okay, y'all. So we're about everybody's getting prepared to put up um, oh. their campaign posters and stuff. Oh, hold on. Here, girl, you can take over the phone. You know I'm trying to hold you. I said all I had to say. I said all I had to say. 
That ain't mine. But here and we're gonna come back when we're done. So we got time. I don't know what she's talking about. She do know what I'm talking about. Bye bye. Come on, bye. Bye y'all. Y'all, this is everybody putting up their posters. I love it. It's screaming black excellence. These are my posters, y'all. I gotta fix that one. It's a little crickets, but. Tomorrow when I show y'all. Okay, right now we're waiting on the cast to come out. We already seen one person, but we're on Clark Atlanta's campus, and I think we're gonna watch the film, not film, the show first, and then they're gonna talk. So I'm excited, everybody. to give it up to our writers, the creative team. Um, you know, they do their research. I attended Xavier University. Hey y'all, so I'm about to go to my dorm and change because this dress is uncomfortable. I look, hold on, hold on, because I look cute. Hold on. This is the beautiful view. I just love how beautiful the sky is. Like I've always been obsessed with the sky and the colors. Like what if we Okay y'all, I'm going to end the vlog for today. Right now I'm just looking at the city. It's so pretty. Um but yeah, it's like 10 o'clock. Didn't go grocery shopping, didn't write my speech, didn't get my bags together, didn't drop off my clothes. So that was really just a chill day, but I've just come to the conclusion like it's okay to just live in the moment like yes you have assignments stuff but your life is not assignments like sometimes just take your break when it's time to lock in lock in like you know so that's it and if this is the last clip i hope you all enjoyed the vlog but i'll see you guys in the next clip hopefully i'll be a little bit more productive but i feel like just enjoying and living life is productive enough so, so I stopped at Publix and got a couple groceries because I just got my refrigerator. It was fun. I'm gonna next time I come, I'm going to um I'm going to like plan out what I'm gonna eat. But this should definitely hold me over for the next for at least this week. So that's good. Okay, so I have a meeting to go to before right now. It's like 5 o'clock. But I'm going to head down to the place I need to be at by 5.30. So, yeah. This is going to be all the right, way real professional. Hopefully, my friends are able to record during my speech. But I'm very excited. Okay, y'all. So, I just left my meeting and I'm going to the debate. Am I nervous? maybe a little and then my button that my friend sewed on came off i don't even know where it went but it came off inside of my room so whatever i wouldn't say i'm nervous but i hope by the time i get there i don't get nervous you know i hate feeling nervous hey y'all i'm about to finish this lab report but i just want to say i just applied for house well i've been applying for housing i'm staying in the suite i'm gonna be at penthouse baddie for real for real um it's a whole lot a whole lot of going on like people are acting real crazy about housing telling people to change their room because they want their friend to be there Tuh, girl all i know is i'm gonna be living that machine hey y'all so i look cute so i just want to record my face but right now we're at georgia tech we didn't do any work it was really it was really a waste but we went to get off campus okay y'all so we're on the bus to go to I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. We hope yeah. I didn't know where you went. Girl. So yeah, we're on the way there. Fingers yeah. crossed that we see my It's a stretch. It's a stretch, but you never know. Hey y'all, so we got a free voucher for some food.
Hey y'all, I just wanted to show y'all how beautiful the campus is today. So this might be like my first video. Today is um, March 6th or the 7th. I don't really remember, but it's one of those. Um, it's Tuesday. Um, yesterday I took two exams. I have an exam tomorrow. I have like a assignment due for Spanish today. But enough about what I have to do. I just want you guys to see how pretty campus looks. I'm currently walking to my math class. And after this week, it is spring break. So I'm just pushing through. Okay, here you guys. I'm at a bottom room right now. My hair, but yeah, we're having a meeting about our trip next week and food and security. She's a so yeah. Hey guys, so this is gonna be the first video of my vlog. Hey, um, today is currently Thursday. This is the week of midterms, and I've already taken three of them. I had on Monday, I had a Spanish exam. Wednesday, I had my calculus exam. Also on Monday, I had my chemistry lab exam. And I don't want to speak on it too much on how I feel about it. I just want to get my grade back and then I'll elaborate. I just want to send like really positive vibes that, you know, I passed, not only passed, made a good grade and that my grades shoot up because that's what we want. Um, what else happened? So I think I covered three. Yeah, three exams. Then, tomorrow is the last day for me to submit my chemistry exam. It was open from Wednesday to Friday. I have homework due for chemistry tomorrow. I have a one-page Spanish essay to write for, yeah, I have a one-page Spanish essay that's due tomorrow. And then, um, I know I got something else. I just got back from a Obama meeting, and we're going to Tennessee on Sunday at 9 a.m. I think I have a dinner to go to either tomorrow or um, Saturday. So we'll see. I just went to a dinner yesterday night at Five Church. And this is a Five Church or Five Churches. Look at my reel on Instagram. I mean, my first reel. Um, what else? I've, like, last semester I didn't really vlog, but like, I've had very busy weeks ever since i've been in college always consisted of like a bunch of homework or a lot of activities i have not gotten a break since i've been in school i've only gotten a break when we have like official breaks but if we've been in school my weeks have just they're always very jam packed like i just do so much i'm glad i'm thankful for it because you know some people may feel like they're not very involved but at the same time girl it'd be a lot going on but anyway um so yeah, I have to do my hair. Look at me with this hat on. I know I look crazy, but I wanted to get like a hairstyle done. Cause you know, I'm tired of like my same old side part curly, but I can't get a hairstyle to do my hair in a day. So I'm gonna have to straighten my hair again because I don't want to experiment with it being curly while I'm out of town. Like that just does not sound like a smart idea to be having to like worry about that. So this one was my last time straightening for a long time. But yeah, I gotta go home and do that. I'm gonna go home and wash my clothes before I go on my trip. Cause fingers crossed y'all that my parents take me to Florida just to get away and get a break. I really wanna stay at this hotel called the Sinesta in Fort Lauderdale because when I stayed there a couple years ago, literally the view looked like a painting. Like y'all, that's the best hotel I've ever been to. And you know, I've been out the country before. So that says a lot since like the place is in Florida. But I don't wanna ramble too much. I'm gonna knock out some of my assignments. Let's just hope and pray that I have like motivation to do it because Doing work can be so tiring sometimes, but you know, I gotta give it my all. This is the last day of midterms week, so I gotta do it big. So I'm just going to probably do like a little study clip or whatever, and me doing work. Hey y'all, ooh my face. Uh, I swear this just got here like within the past few hours. 
anyways so i got my nails done i didn't record because when i'm doing something like i'll be busy okay i'll be busy and i just didn't feel like pulling out my camera but i got my eyebrows done too don't look too closely she didn't do like bad i had to go back like ooh. I had to go back and tell her like fix my eyebrow because like this was thick and this was thin even though i don't like my eyebrows thin i didn't want one thick and one thin so she just you know did that up i got my toes done too but yeah i think it's exactly either 7 30 or 8. i don't have anything packed but i can't really pack until i get back to my dorm and we're only gonna be out for three days Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So four days, three nights. Um, but you know me, like I'm trying to look on Pinterest and stuff so I can get an idea of what I want to wear. So that like when I get to my door, I'm not just now picking out outfits cause I'll be up all night. Um, what else? Today was a really good day. Today was a really, 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 really good day. A good. Day. It's been a good day especially compared to like the week that i've been having like today really like was needed but um yeah i'm washing like my last few loads of clothes and i'm gonna go back to my dorm probably not until like 9 and 10 because i still need my mom to wash and straighten my hair because i really don't want to do it myself especially because i already got something on my nail hold on especially because I got my nails done. I don't, you know, do all that and I'm not trying to mess up my nails. So, hopefully my mom wash, blow dries, and straightens it. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. I'm really excited to go to Nashville, y'all. And it's so crazy because my first time going to Nashville was, I remember vividly. I remember dates really good. But March 1st, 2022, I went on my tour to TSU. And now it's March 12th, well about to be March 12th, and I'll be going down there to do my community service. So I never got to actually go downtown in Nashville, and I heard like it's really pretty and it's a lot of stuff to do. So I'm glad that I'll finally get to experience it. Hopefully, I'm trying to be out every night. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm trying to be out every single night. So we'll see. Hopefully for the trip, it's just, you know, I just want all positivity. I want to add to my life experience by going here. I hope it really impacts people. I learn a lot and you know, when I get back, hopefully I go to Florida. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, y'all. Hey, so it's currently like 9-11. Not too much, but I just decided that I'm not gonna wash my hair because I just feel like, yes, it will be freshly washed and, you know, the hair will be flowing. But honestly, it's getting late and to wash and blow dry my hair, like, it's that's just doing a lot. And especially because, like, when I do it, I want it to look like this. So why wash it and do all that? My hair is greasy. I don't know if you can tell. It's very, like, very, very, very oily. But I think I'm just going to, like bump the ends a little bit put in my rollers and then like go on my zay like i mean go on my night because like i don't mind if my hair look like this and really i don't even have to like curl it for real with the flat iron i might like touch up the edges because y'all i don't have a perm i'm all natural so my hair does get curly but i just feel like my hair looks good like I might bring the flat iron with me on the trip just in case I need to change my hair up. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna like bump the ends even though like I said, it's already bumped. I'm gonna bump it with heat because like when I had rollers in the other day, if my hair isn't like, if it's oily like this, it doesn't curl properly. So yeah, I'm just gonna bump the ends, probably, you know, touch up right here. Then I'm going to, go to campus once my stuff is done washing for our countdown to our asb which stands for alternative spring break 
We ready. We ready. Okay, y'all. It's currently 8.22. We're supposed to be meeting up at 8.30. I'm going to be late because I'm sure other people will be late. But don't mind my ashy elbows. But this is the fit. I finally got a shirt. They gave this shirt to us for me. But I finally got one that matches this. Like, I'm so happy right now. Y'all, why is George's weather like this? Like, why? It's cold. I was thinking about packing some us because Nashville and Georgia really have, like, the same weather. I'm like, do I want to leave now or do I just want to bring my bag later? I think I'm just going to... I don't know. I think I'm just going to bring my bags now. So, let me walk through this rain. Okay, we're here finally after four hours. Okay, y'all, so we're at Walmart. I'm not even buying anything, but it's like two o'clock and we have to wait for our stuff to be done. So, are you still recording? Are you still recording? Huh? Are you still recording? Like vlogging? Yeah, are you still vlogging? Oh, yeah, I am. Just send me that video too. Okay. I'm not gonna send it to her. Okay. <laughs> so, this is the hotel. It's cute. We're staying on the fourth floor. I'm not about to turn on all the lights, but it's worth getting here. Okay, this is the hallway. Like I said, I think I showed y'all this earlier, but like, it's cute. I just love hotels and look, it's a little Nashville thing. I'm about to sit for like an hour, drink my tea because today has been long. Like I said, I've been up since, I've been up since like, I've been up since six or 5 a.m. I didn't go to sleep till one, so I'm about to just sit in my bed and Breathe. Bye. And I'll talk to you guys later. So right now I'm trying to wash my face. So I'm not going to talk too much. But the shower was definitely well needed. Like the water pressure and everything felt so good. But yes, I'm just washing my face with the soap. Because that's all I use for my face. I don't Put nothing else on it and i don't even like to wash my face too much with soap because it can like really dry it out and like irritate it yeah so this is the hotel food i'm eating i don't even like breakfast for us so yeah but today we're actually doing I saw this. Hold on. Maybe. But that look a little crazy, so. I'm gonna just talk to y'all later. Okay. It ain't much time about it. This is a little sweet area. It's very cute. I love it. Love it, love it. Yeah, it's such a cute community. I really want to take another picture, but it's okay. Where's the man? Okay, so by her harvesting the herbs, basically she said this is oregano, and when she rubbed it, you can smell. Yes, y'all. You can smell the ingredients, and y'all know people cook with this. It's very essential. So we're gonna do this. It's really cold, so I'm gonna oh, stop recording. Yeah. Hey, so I did not 
update you guys, but basically, hey. We went to a woman's garden. What was the garden called? Brookhaven. Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights Garden. And right now we're on the way to... The National African American Museum. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're going there, so I'm excited. We're on the way to the museum. I didn't even show y'all the museum, so we already sang in the like gospel thing. It was so cool. Look, Hampton University. Shout out to the HBCUs. You already know. Anyway, I love Cardi B. They have Lori and my favorite Drake. This is their message section, and they have all the influential people. I'm about to listen to some songs, so I'm gonna check with y'all later. I already went on the tour here, so I already know that's Hell Hall and that's the Hell Stadium right there. And yeah. It should be cute. It should be fun. Hey guys, so we're here. We're waiting. This, you know, hold on. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. But y'all, it's so cold. It's so cold. But I'm wearing my scrub attire. And we're gonna go get the cat. Okay, y'all, we're doing this tour. I'm sorry, I didn't record. I'm trying to live in the moment, you know? So. Yeah, that's Rudolph. I think that's it. No. Is it? I don't know. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to come here on my tour last year. Like it was yesterday, and now I'm a school night. Okay, y'all, right now we're going to a farm. We're like on a really high, high mountain. Oh my gosh, why are they singing? It's cold, and I know I'm going to say that already, but it's definitely cold. But I'm gonna show you guys more of the form once we get down there. I got a headache. Y'all, so I just went inside of here to put the food inside of like the little things for the chicken. Oh my gosh, y'all. Then they, it was a bunch of eggs in here. This is all the chicken. This is interesting. <laughs> so we're leaving. Bye, Nashville. Love this hotel. I forgot what it was called already. I think Barry something. So, I don't know. But yes, we're leaving. Oh, not my finger was in the camera. But yeah, Nashville did me good. Might come back. Oh, that's where we stayed. The Fairfield by Marriott. Mallory Lane. Okay. But we're back. Spring break has officially started. Today is Wednesday, and we're back on Spelman's campus. And yeah, I look crazy because I gotta do my hair. But thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I haven't been on YouTube in like over a month, so um, I'm not sure about the prior footage. Like I have videos in like footage made. I just never edited it. Like, I know I have one from spring break. I probably have a vlog. So, not sure if that's going to be a separate video, if it's going to be included. But we're just going to start here. And I promise y'all, I'm going to stay consistent. So, let me just give y'all, like, a brief update of my life and what's going on, y'all. This semester is almost over. It is April. I think today is April 8th. And I'm a little, it's like really cold outside. Literally, it was hot yesterday. Well, day before yesterday. Now it's cold. Um, and it's raining, so my mood is kind of off. And then 
I check my phone and I see like my professor for something for like chemistry lab. When I tell y'all like I'm really tired of school. Like I'm just, I'm gonna give school my all this last month. Y'all see how crazy my hair look? That's how you know I don't care. But as I was saying, like I'm really gonna give school my all this last month because when I leave in May, I think we leave like May 10th, I'm not looking back until next semester. Like I'm so glad I'm not taking a class over the summer because I definitely, I need a break. Like all these assignments and just stuff going on, like it gives me really bad anxiety and I get overstimulated really fast and school has just been. So like, I'm just trying my best to finish strong. I'm hanging in there y'all. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the other day, Rihanna came um, to my, well, she didn't come to my school, but like they had the Fenty Beauty truck and this isn't what I got from there. I'm just looking at my stuff like, girl, these two colors do not, I don't like these two colors. Like this used to be my favorite, but I feel like it's a little too light for my face. And this is definitely too light for my face. So like a waste of money, still love Rihanna, but I'm just saying like, I should have got a different shade. This one's okay, but like, does it look light to y'all? Okay, it doesn't really look light on camera. I'm tripping. It's not even that it looks light. It just looks kind of orange. Like, do y'all think it look orange? Because I feel like it look orange. I just left from my sister's apartment. She wants to take me and my sister, my little sister out. So we had like a little sister's weekend. Y'all, yesterday, this week has just been so crazy. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love school. It has its perks and stuff but like the school part and the time management is like what's really killing me so I was writing an essay yesterday because I'm trying to do this program over the summer and the application is due today so I want to go ahead and finish the essay yesterday so I finished it but now I have an essay for a class due by like Friday I have a scholarship essay due by Friday then I have a, I'm not even taking any English classes. Then I have like a portfolio due. I already did one of the essays. I think I have to do another. Girl, I don't, I don't even know. Like I just have to get my life together, y'all. Like it's not in shambles. It's just, I just, I'm like, I just get tired of like having to do stuff back to back and then this and that and then that and that. Like y'all, that's so annoying but in lighter news oh yeah i don't even care if my hair look crazy like i know y'all like girl not you coming on the internet with your hair look like that but honestly like i really don't care i care but like i really don't care anyways so today because i've been so stressed i want to reward myself with something i've really been wanting and this is a billy ah this is the billy eilish perfume it smells like vanilla and like sweet something and i've been thinking about this perfume since the first time i smelled it so i was like you know what girl go ahead buy you that perfume um i got some acetone because as y'all see i got these my nails done like three weeks ago and it's just gel polish but like the polish isn't coming off all right acetone is bad for your nails though but nothing else is like oh, i think the junk was leaking in my bag girl i wonder why i smelled it so much when i got in the car let me get a paper towel. Ugh, this essence is like really, really strong and it dries so fast. <sighs> Don't, I'm not gonna get it. Okay. Anyway, so the next thing I got was this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I know you're like, girl, you literally have three. Let me tell you. So the other two that I want, it's like a hot chocolate one and it's the icy one. I'm gonna wait till those go on sale again because I bought this when she had 30% off. This was a Christmas gift. So I should have just got this one. I've had this in the past. So I just went ahead and got this today. Like I said, when I'm stressed, I use retail as my therapy. <gasps> what is this? No. Oh, no. Look, it's like, are you serious? It looks like somebody dropped it. It's okay though. It's really not that big of a deal. But this is the... Y'all know the clear one. Ugh, I knew I should have kept my other one. Because I had two. They had two more left. And I decided to get this one because it looked good from the front. But I didn't even turn it over to the back. Like, who dropped this? 
Who dropped this? But it's really not that big of a deal. I'm, I'm just gonna try not to think about it because I'm already stressed and I don't want to get even more mad. And I'm getting hungry again, y'all. Like, ugh. And I also have this too. I've really been into my like Fenty bag. I actually have two. I actually have two of these. One of them I got on sale with the scrub. So it smells really good. And yeah. So I also got this too. I'm going to try this tonight. I always want to try these little nose to clean. And I, okay. So I saw this after I bought the Billie Eilish perfume. And I've been looking for months. Because y'all know they sell these at like TJ Maxx and Burlington for like $25. At like Target and stuff, they sell it for like $50. And I was like, I'm not paying full price if they have something that's cheaper. So I've been looking for a month. Like when I tell y'all, I would ask my parents to drop me off to different department stores just so I can find this. And I wasn't able to. So I'm checking out the TJ Maxx. And I was trying to get this purse. And then I see this. I was like, oh no, we're putting the purse back and we're getting this this is really just for decoration but i've been wanting it for such a long time like y'all don't understand a lot of people don't like the smell it doesn't smell the best but y'all it is so cute just to like set in the room and i've been wanting it for a long time so yeah that's my advice for today right now probably for like the first the next 20 minutes I'm about to like just write stuff down in my planner because like I said like I am a little overwhelmed right now with just a lot of things going on because on top of just life I have to meet all these deadlines and learn and grasp material like it's just, I'm, I'm really stressed I'm not gonna lie I, I'm very stressed right now so I'm just gonna try to put some reminders and stuff so I don't forget throughout the week things I have to do and then i'm going to like real deal like deep clean my room go through stuff it's already kind of clean but it still needs to like like i know i need to go through my clothes get rid of clothes for good go ahead make a box of things that i'm going to throw away and you know just prepare to i really should prepare to move out like i should really start packing now but I'm going to do a room tour. Don't know if that's going to be in this video or if it's going to be separate. But that's pretty much it. It's like 7.15. And yeah. That's the tea, y'all. That's what I've been up to. Oh, also. It's our Founders Week this week. So today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Easter. And our Founders Day is on April 11th, which is Tuesday. So, oh look, y'all. I also have this. I bought this for decoration too. But um yeah, so I was thinking about getting this girl to do my hair because I've been wearing my hair straight a lot and I just wanna like do something different. But I don't know. I don't really know if I want braids. Like I told her I wanted braids, but we'll see. Cause I'm gonna have to go home to wash my hair and stuff if I do go get braids. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Real honestly. Do I really need my hair done though? Because like y'all, I haven't straightened my hair in like three weeks. And this is how it looks like. Like my edges are a little like, you could tell that they're like fuzzy and I need to get my hair done. But once I throw on a hat, like we can make, we can make some work. Girl's hair all on me. See here, I'll put on a hoodie just to close out this portion of the video. But yeah, y'all that's the tea on me um if y'all like miss the updates of my life and stuff you know you can always go to my instagram i post everything on instagram and put it in my highlights so yeah i'm not gonna keep talking i'm just about to write all this stuff that i have to do please pray for me please just pray for me pray that i make it to the end pray that my grades are good pray that um i get a good gpa and I pray that this summer is going to be really relaxing. I can come back an even better student because next semester I'm taking organic chemistry, a lab, physics, the lab, calculus 2, and women's studies. So, yeah, it's going to be a little rigor. A little rigor in there. So, yeah, I'm not going to keep talking. I'm going to talk to you guys later.
Okay, y'all, so quick update. I'm currently at my house. Today is Easter Sunday. It's like 10.42, last time I checked. But I just blow dry my hair, y'all. My hair is growing back, like, so thick. Like, it's real, it's real. It's real thick right now. But yeah, so Easter was really good. I got one assignment done today, but we're not gonna talk about assignments. We're gonna talk about me. Um, I went to the store to get some stuff for my nail because it looks weird. I will never go back to the nail salon again. Like, I don't know if other people have this problem, but every time I get gel overlay, well, this is just gel polish and like this looks weird. It looks like my nail is like super long. Y'all, I'm sticking to press ones and painting my own nails. Like I've tried and tried. I've gotten my nails done several times, but I just can't deal with it anymore. I'd rather just have my nails healthy and just do it myself because spending money to get my nails done. No, I can get my toes done, but when it comes to nails, it's always something. But anyway, Tomorrow I have a class at 10 a.m. I know my math teacher has office hours at 9, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to school that early because if you guys didn't know, I don't drive for my parents have to take me. And you know, I would hate for my parents to be like super tired trying to take me to school that early. So I might just go to my Spanish class. Then I have to go to my community service site from 11 to 1. And then I have math at 2. And then I have chemistry at 3. And then I have this other, it's called recitation. Basically, that's where they tell you guys, like, I'm saying tell you guys. That's where they tell us what we're going to be doing in lab so that we get a better understanding. Thankfully, I don't have a quiz due Monday, so count my blessings. Tonight, I'm probably going to just straighten my hair, go ahead and submit this assignment for Spanish because I'm trying to be on top of my assignments. Like, turn it in the day before. I don't care if it's at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. It's going to get turned in and tuesday is our founders day they say we're supposed to go to somewhere at 8 30 in the morning so i really need to get this dress that i have tailored so i need to see what time the dry cleaner is open because if i don't get a tailor i'm gonna have to put a safety pin in it and just make it do i don't really have an outfit to wear for founders day i'm thinking about wearing this light blue dress that i literally wear all the time like i'm so tired of wearing that dress but you know, I really want to wear strong colors, so I'm probably just going to end up wearing the dress. And, yeah, so I'm just going to finish straight with my hair. And I think I'm not going to curl it this time. I always curl my hair, so I think I'm just going to straighten it. But that's pretty much it for tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, y'all, I look crazy. I need to stop playing that. But, how? See, look, look at my hair. So today is Monday. It's like 11, 10 or something. And I just got out of my Spanish class, y'all. I'm at 94 on my exam, period. And honestly, before I come to college, I was like really scared to take Spanish because, you know, I haven't, I didn't like grow up learning Spanish. I only took Spanish in eighth grade and ninth grade for a semester and that's all i have to do but you know you just doing like you don't really have to know the language to get a good grade in the class so i was really scared to take it on the collegiate level because i'm like you know these girls they came in knowing spanish and me on the other hand i didn't and i remember i used to watch this girl while well, i looked at this video this girl who went to Spelman and she was like, yeah, like I gotta retake Spanish. Like that's a class that you're probably gonna have to retake. That class is no game. So like, I'm scared. Cause you know, I don't know Spanish. Y'all, I got an A in that class. And not an A minus, an A. And we're almost done this semester. So I'm very happy about that. Spanish has been going great. If you're coming to Spelman, you're a freshman, and you're thinking about taking a professor, take Gustavo, 10 out of 10. You didn't just hear it from me because anybody else would tell you that. But anyway, so at 10.30, I mean not 10.30, 11.30, I'm supposed to be going to, oh, that was kind of strong. <coughs> I'm supposed to be going to my community service site. I do service at a community, uh, I do my community service at a, ooh, yeah, that, that perfume is really strong. But anyway, so. 
I do community service at a local elementary school, so that's why I'm going at 11.30. And yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much because, you know, I don't wanna waste anybody's time. I'm just kidding, you guys can't see me, so that doesn't matter. But I was 20 minutes late for class because I had to come back, put all my stuff in my room, I had to get Chick-fil-A before I got to campus. So yeah, I was late, I felt so bad, but it's okay. My teacher know I have good intentions. But yeah, I may or may not show you guys me at the elementary school, but if I don't, I'll see you guys when I'm headed to my math class. Okay, so they have this really cute thing for the freshmen. This is freshman week, and we're gonna put some paint in our hand and then sign our names. Okay, I'm gonna run over it one more time, but this is fine. All right, y'all, so this is how campus looks. It is so green and so pretty. That's the Founders Day um, little sign thing. Y'all, the video cut off. I don't remember what I was saying, but... Whatever I was saying, that's what I meant. But yeah, y'all. Um, I have not been feeling good like the past week. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm about to go to my room and I'm gonna change my clothes. And then I'm gonna get some Subway. Like, I don't know if I'm hungry, but I can't be hungry because I literally had Chick-fil-A this morning and I had like a 10 count in the drink. But I just been having like these real bad, like brief migraines. I don't know if I'm stressed. I don't know if I'm anxious, even though I know for a fact I'm both, but I don't know if that's why I've been sick. Like, I don't know. But I also don't know what's going on in chemistry. That's just where I came from. And I was gonna report, but like I said, I have a really bad headache, so I didn't feel like it. I'm just gonna go to office hours tomorrow and, you know, try to ask my teacher some stuff. And yeah, y'all, I'm just vibing. I'm trying to count my blessings because I'm getting very, not discouraged, but I'm getting like very tired. Like I think I'm, I've been experiencing burnout, but like it's getting really bad now. And I'm trying to feel how I felt last year around this time. Not last year, but last semester. So, prayers up that I finish smoothly, but I know I will, so I'm not gonna ramble. Alright y'all, so quick update because it know my my eyes because I was just sneezing. But I told y'all I'm staying consistent right now. I'm doing my math notes. I'm gonna do some practice problems from last week and this week, and then I'm gonna take a shower, cook some food, and by that time it'll probably be time to go to sleep because we have to be up at eight o'clock in the morning for Founders Day. And I just got my dress. We had a say yes to the dress thing, and I got this free Calvin Klein dress. So I got an altar, and my mom just dropped it off. And I'm talking fast because, you know, I have to get my work done. So yeah, it's my first Founders Day, y'all. So excited, and I'm so thankful and blessed to be a Spelman Night. And I can't wait to show you guys what tomorrow has to bring. All right, you guys. So I know I said I'll see y'all tomorrow, but um what time is it oh my gosh y'all 20 minutes has already passed i swear it's only been like five seconds but i'm about to cook and i was supposed to be taking a shower but i might cook first because i think somebody else is waiting on the shower and we just don't have that type of time y'all i'm trying to be asleep by 12 but like sound asleep by 12 15 because me waking up in the morning Mm, what's crazy is I have an 8 a.m. next semester and all my classes are at 9 a.m. Thursday I have a free break but like mm, I don't know how that's gonna go but yeah I'm waiting somebody somebody if you're watching this somebody told me that they were gonna call me and they didn't so now I'm just waiting but it's like, I don't know if I should like just clean up my room first. I don't know if I should try to get in the shower first. My room is like, just, it, my room just has like stuff all on my desk and like on my bed. I need to get it together, you guys. But yes, I'm about to cook and then, no, I'm about to clean up my room. Then I'm about to cook and then I'm going to go to sleep. So yes, first Saturday's day. Y'all, ignore if I had something on my lip. So sorry, so embarrassing, but we're not deleting the footage. But yeah, I seen some seniors last semester standing in front of their dorm. So hopefully I can get like group pictures with the seniors in their cap and gown. Cause I think that's gonna be so cute. But yes, let me get to straighten up my room.
y'all why was i talking this whole time and i didn't even record okay basically i was just telling y'all that i'm very excited to celebrate spelman's legacy today and how everybody is like really excited regardless of like any of the other stuff like anything spelman as an institution will always be that girl and it will forever be that girl so we're celebrating its legacy and everything it has produced and i can't wait to see the alum and the graduates and all the other stuff it's currently like 8 22 and that's it well it's probably like 8 25 now but i have to meet my friend so i'll talk to you guys later which one should i use hmm i'll use this one okay i'll see you guys later I wanted to Hey y'all, so we're on here. This one got me looking like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now y'all can see us a little bit better. Vlog. Hey y'all, so we're almost in there. We've been waiting in line for what, an hour? An hour 30, hour 40? I don't, I don't know. But they not playing about this Founders Day. They treating this like this. I don't know. I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I have that Spelman shirt. It's like a spray paint. It has to put your dial on. And then it has to be a skirt. Or not more. Okay. Yeah. But like, yeah. An extra. They still look good. Oh, Ooh, you gotta go up. No, just wait till we see the singers. So I didn't really show you guys much afterwards, but I just changed from my white dress. I'm wearing my cute Spelman. Hold on, let me take a picture because this lighting is hidden. Okay, hey you guys. Oh, I feel like I feel like I'm always in my room, but I'm officially. What did I just finish doing? I don't know, but right now it was. Right now it's 1:46. Okay, so. I'm trying to go see this girl's campaign at 4 for Miss Spellman. We also have a class picture at 4. And then I have office hours with my professor at 4.15. So, how am I going to be at different places at once? I don't know. But at least I look cute. I tried something different. Wait, with my hair a little bit. Should I, like, keep it like this? I think I'm going to keep it like this. Like, I think this is, like, pretty cute. It's giving, it, like, you know? But I already talked to y'all earlier. But I just wanted to update y'all on what I'm doing right now and yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to really show you guys my hairstyle and yeah i just i just love that it's founder's day please don't mind my nails okay as you guys can see i changed this is delaney <laughs> and we're just about to see what they have down here it don't look like too many people down there but i just need something to drink really but i would say my first time this was uh i would say it's a success like no classes it was cute. I feel proud to be a fellow Spelmanite, so, you know. I'm sure there's more people. Ooh, my camera. Anyways, y'all, I just left office hours with my teacher. Father's Day is over. It was a good Father's Day, y'all. I love being a Spelman night. I'm so proud and so blessed to be able to be here and to experience all of this. And I would not change or trade this experience for the world. Okay, hey you guys. So this marks the beginning of my vlog. Today is 
a lot. Today's Bell Valentine is also research day. And I already met so many girls and they were like, oh, we're already committed to Spelman. Like this is just so exciting because I just remember me this time last year coming here. And like, I can't believe like my first year is almost done. Like time flies like this. But I'm about to walk back to my dorm so I can meet up with my friends because we're volunteering to show the girls around Spelman and you know, we're just helping with Spellbound, so I'm hungry, so hopefully this luncheon they have at 12, they'll allow us to get some food too, because girl, I gotta eat. Oh, also today is Market Friday as well, so you know, campus is about to be live. Okay, y'all, so right now we're in the library, and I just talked to you from class of 27. Y'all, this girl, shout out to the girl who put me on to her white shirt, because I am definitely ordering that. But y'all, I'm so excited to talk to these girls. Like, it's just giving life right now. And I'm with my friends as well. <laughs> I didn't mean to catch her off guard like that, but whew, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I have not been recording. <laughs> and. Hey, vlog. I feel so bad because I met some really, really good people. The yeah, tour was a one. Just talking it up. But <laughs> we're going to go to Starbucks. And like I said, I have an interview at three. So I'm gonna have to. I'm trying to be a chaperone for this summer program, and yeah, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Okay, so right now we're waiting in the Starbucks line. I'm not getting any Starbucks because I only got one more meal swipe left for the week. So yeah, that's all. Okay, you guys. So I'm back in my room. I'm so sorry if like. I really hope this video is not choppy because I really want to get the Spellbound experience because I never even posted like a Spellbound vlog when I did. But y'all, I love talking to like class of 27. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm about to be a sophomore. I might just shed a tear because, you know, my first year is almost over and I can't believe like how much time has passed. I was telling the person who has the King of Pops, like I remember him from last year when he came and like a year later, and look at where we are but i'm just gonna sit here for the next 30 minutes into my interview and i'm supposed to be meeting up with somebody else hopefully i'll be able to like show her my dorm and like walk around with her and then at five um the boys in warehouse the freshmen are doing a straw and then the girls are doing a straw at like six then we have market friday and market friday after dark so yeah i'll catch up with you guys later such a nice day on campus <laughs> She was trying to get these little vlogs now. I be looking crazy. Hey. Girl, you look fine, Coriana. Hi. We're about to go to Juve. Yeah, you know. And I'm going to curl my hair because it's looking a little tired. He said we didn't ask now, but we had the Juve, but it got canceled before we got there. So now we're walking on Christ campus. Hi. And we're going to go to the promenade and see what's going on. And you know I'm repping. The my comments. Yeah, it's so like you can't even really see. But hey, y'all, what's going on? Hey, Tiana Taylor. Woo! Crazy, like put me on tape right now. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? And I killed it. And I know we got a call back, but. But uh, for AD, she was like, you know, so you can call them and your tape is amazing. Clearly, that's why we call them back. But like, you know, it's just not, it's not going to be that easy. You know, it's some more work to do. And I was willing to do it because I knew that this was the role that was to me. I kind of felt like it was already written in the palm of God's hands. Um, but I also knew that I had to work for it. And I didn't want it to fall in my lap. I don't allow anything to fall in my lap. You know, I'm a hustler. I'm hungry all the time. So um, I'm like, I right, bet. And we had a, a, a lot of reads. A, a lot of them, a lot of them. I think at one point I was like, girl, will you open it now? I'm like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? But nah, uh, AB was, was gentle, um, she was kind. And I think it's just an automatic like survival mode. It's like a switch, you know? Like I, I showed all of my weakness on this set for the better, you know, for a great scene. And now they you know, cut. And it's time to flip the switch and put my cape on and be mommy. And that was just all I knew. It was like a, it was a natural switch. The same way when you go to bed, you turn the lights off. And that's just what it was for me. It was either the lights was on or she was telling me she was too smart and she knew too much. Yeah. And um, so because she is, was and still is my manager, 
Of course. Oh, wow. But yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mama. Um, yes. Yeah. So I, I followed into her footsteps, you know, and I think that that's why, you know, to, to see all the love and people love my stories because it took me so long to get here and a lot of, of that, that weight um, was from not only my mom, but then me being a smaller version of her and, and following in her footsteps and being strong and speaking up for myself came across too loud. Me knowing too much came across too loud, came across as difficult. Um, but look where we are now, you know? I think one thing about it is we never apologized about it. We may have cried about it. We may have hugged each other and, <laughs> and um, thank you. We may have hugged each other and asked each other like, where do we go from here? But uh, we got through it. And one thing I will always tell my mom is this shit gonna go, regardless. And I was like, mom, excuse my language, but this shit gonna go. You feel me? Like we gonna do it ourselves. And that's how I learned to uh, direct and, and, and do my own hair, do my own makeup and just style myself because we didn't have nobody. We didn't have nobody to depend on. We didn't have a label to give us no support. We didn't have a label to give us money for a video. We didn't have none of that while being signed to a label. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, you know, where we are now, you know, I'm just in this space where it's like, I'm not being difficult, but I'm not some just so happy to be here as person either. You feel what I'm saying? And sometimes when you're just so happy to be here, you're willing to do whatever. Now it's one thing to be willing to do whatever, one thing to just willing to do the work. And I'm willing to do the work time a thousand, but I'm not willing to fucking do whatever to appease you and this executive and that executive to, to, to make your balls bigger. I'm not doing that. And you're not willing to just shut up. You're not willing to just shut up. So continue to do what you do and believe in yourself and just know, honestly, whatever is for you is, is already written. You know what I'm saying? And you keep believing that. You keep you keep this faith walk. Don't let no distraction, don't let the enemy throw a, a wrench in your tire. You got to keep going. You got to keep riding. Even when that shit go flat, keep riding. You feel what I'm saying? And I think that that's what it is. And always know that the weight is not punishment. It's preparation. It's preparation for what's already written to you. Well, I'm gonna say thank you to you to build my relationship, continue to do my ministries, and that's what keeps me going, to ask for that guidance and you know, to ask God to just breathe into me. You know what I'm saying? And honestly have real conversations with him. Like I don't be like, oh, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm like, yo, God. <laughs> this bitch tried me today, excuse my language. I'm sorry, you're a forgiving God though. You get what I'm saying? And that's the thing about it. He's a forgiving God. So it don't feel like you have to follow what you see on TV or what you read in the book. You know, and of course, if you want to get on your knees and put your hands in the sky, that is surrendering. That is amazing. You know what I'm saying? But that should take practice. Excuse my language. It takes practice. But until you get there, you got to have conversations with him. You know what I'm saying? Because he is the only one that had it written for you. He is the only one that can look in the palm of his hand. Not a boss, not a mother, not a father, not a kid, not nothing. God only. So you got to just continue to walk in faith. Thank you so much. You did a phenomenal job. Thank you. Hi. Okay, hey you guys, this is our last water meeting, so I just wanted to introduce I just want to introduce you guys to some of my friends. Why are you so close? Happy early birthday, it's Saturday, it's Thursday. Happy early birthday. Yes. She's been struggling at the door. Go ahead, go ahead. I, no, what was you gonna say? She <laughs> okay, for real, bye y'all. But hey, it's the last market, so I guess I'll enjoy it. And you know, this one is. My outfit look kind of hot though, because I have on this really thick hat and stuff. But I really need some lip gloss. But anyway, so I'm at the meeting and i barely made it to market market is over by the time i left that meeting people was already packing up so um, i haven't vlogged a single market friday unless y'all seen the one that i did during homecoming but i don't know if i'm actually gonna post this vlog if if i'm if you've seen me on youtube right now just know i'm proud of myself for even putting this whole video together this may be like a finals week edition kind of vlog so this may be video number one or video number two. 
but yeah they gave me some chick-fil-a hey you guys i completely forgot to make an outro to this video but this marks the end of my lost files and the last footage that i had from my spring semester i hope you all enjoyed i loved my first year and i'm so glad that i was able to capture all these memories make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and follow me on all of my social media accounts which will be linked down in my description box thank you all for watching bye